before we get to Steve though, rail trails are of course fantastic things. We have some beautiful ones in our part of the world, the Port Ferry to Warrnambool Rail Trail, Camperdown to Timboon, Ballarat to Skipton. As I mentioned earlier, I haven't had the pleasure of the Ballarat to Skipton one, but I've seen some pictures of it. It looks looks very lovely. As does the Hamilton to Coleraine Rail Trail, which is still a little bit of a work in progress in some ways, I gather. But they are having an event next Friday, a tree planting and plaque unveiling. Sue Brumby is the chair-elect of the Hamilton to Coleraine Rail Trail. Sue, welcome to you. Yeah, good morning, Jeremy. How are you? Yeah, well, thanks. Just um, introduce us to your rail trail first up, if, if, if we can get a bit of a picture of what sort of a trail it is and, and what, yeah. sort of, what, what it covers, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's 37 kilometres long and it stretches from Hamilton to Coleraine, encompassing spectacular landscapes of our beautiful Red Gums Hills going down into Coleraine, the Warren Falls. It passes quite close to the Nigretta Falls. Uh, beautiful old railway bridges and nice native grasslands, really. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, right. So a bit of everything. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Yeah. Now, in terms of um, what you need to have in mind if you're thinking of experiencing uh, part of your particular rail trail, the Hamilton Coleraine one as well, what do, what do people need to keep in mind? Because different rail trails, I guess, are, are at different, different stages, shall we say, aren't they, perhaps, of, <laughs> of development yes. and accessibility and so on? Yeah, and I think what's important is um, the Hamilton Colrain Rail Reserve is actually a rail reserve. So it's quite wide because it's got lots of very special remnant grasslands and has been preserved for conservation and recreation. Mm. So it's a little bit different uh, in that regard. So I'm familiar with uh, the ones you mentioned, Ballarat Skipton and the Warrnambool Port Ferry, where they can be quite narrow at times and quite a bit of... Um, other grazing. This one's quite wide and um, certainly has got lots of native flora and fauna. It um, still has some undeveloped sections which means that if you're on a bike you might be riding down a creek gully um, and up the other side. Right. Um, if you're on foot it means at the moment that you will get some wet feet uh, but it's pretty much from Balkans Road and Hamilton you can go right through to Coleraine and indeed um, last weekend, we had 20 bushwalkers from the Essendon Bushwalking Club come up, stay in Hamilton and um, walk the track and were just amazed, just absolutely amazed by it. Yeah, fantastic. Who, who do you find is using it? Is, it? is it sort of locals who are using it as, a, as an exercise track? Is, I mean, is, is it because a, lot, lot, a large part of the whole rail trail idea is, is as a tourism sort of thing, isn't it, as well? And are you yes. seeing a lot of that with yours? Well, certainly the bushwalkers were a case in point, so they came up for the whole, in fact, some stayed from Friday night through to Monday night um, in Hamilton, which was great. So we're certainly seeing people do that. Um, we had a velo rally for bikes um, in April this year, which had about 70 cyclists come and do the mountain bike part of the adventure of the, the rail trail offers. Um, so we're getting a bit of a mixture, so field naturalists, photographers, cyclists, we've had the Hamilton runners have done a run out on it. Um, so certainly a nice variety and people that just want to get back out in nature or go for a walk. And during COVID, it's certainly, uh, particularly the cold rain, then you know, people could walk with their dog on a leash. Um, so it's providing all sorts of wonderful activities. Yeah, indeed. Let's have a chat about what's happening next week then. So yeah, I think sure. it's next Friday you've got this special event happening. What's, what's yeah, happening yeah. then? So um, if we're doing the um, unveiling and tree planting for the Lake Queen's Jubilee and we've planted 260 trees with the help of fabulous students from Bainbridge College and the um, Honourable Dan Tien will be helping unveil the commemorative plaque along with the Mayor, mm -hmm. David Robertson, and they're going to plant some trees, have some sausages, and just celebrate the fact that this is a new piece freshly fenced off at the Hamilton End. Um, so we're really sort of focusing too on developing up the Hamilton End a bit more. Yeah, great. Now I'm presuming this is something that was planned prior to the Queen's passing, was it? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's not, not not necessarily meant to be a, well, a, a sort of remembrance kind of thing, but I suppose it's maybe no, taken exactly. on that kind of, yeah. <laughs> I was just before you called, I was thinking, oh, this is going to be a bit messy. It's the late Queen for her jubilee. Um, <laughs> so respectfully, it was for her yeah. jubilee. Yeah, right, yeah. So that is happening um, next Friday. Um, and yeah, at six o'clock at Fairburns Road, where the rail trail crosses Fairburns Road just outside of Hamilton. And uh, it's free, so 
we really would love to welcome people to come and have a look at our beautiful rail trail and get to know it a bit more. Yeah, indeed. Now, you would like people to RSVP as well, though, if they're thinking of coming along? Yeah, sure. That would be helpful with a number of sausages, yes. <laughs> Always important. And, of course, uh, the next day, of course, will be uh, Election Day as well. So yeah, there, might, there yeah. might be a few right, left over for... Uh, <laughs> a lot of sausages uh, all yeah. for next weekend. Secretary <laughs> at redgumtrack.net.au, I think, is the email if you would like yes. to RSVP. Uh, or just uh, take the time to go and experience the rail trail as well at some point. Sue, thanks again. Hope you have a great yep, no uh, problem. ceremony and next week. And there is a, a Facebook page called the Friends of the Hamilton Coal Rain Rail Trail. If people want to jump on there, they could let us go if they're going as well. Yeah, fantastic. Excellent. Sue, thanks again. Chat to you soon. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Have a good weekend. You Bye-bye. Too. Sue Brumby there, Chair-Elect of the Hamilton to Coleraine Rail Trail, which sounds like a lovely... Lovely rail trail, lovely experience. And some of the photos I've seen as well, I think there's a beautiful old rail bridge uh, across the trail at one point. I don't think you can actually walk on the bridge. It sounds like one of those bridges that's probably not very safe to be on, but uh, you can certainly view it and it looks, looks very spectacular.